honorable chief guest of the inaugural ceremony of ICBMSS 2022, honorable minister, minister of industries, government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Mr. Nurul Majid Mahmood Humayun MP, special guest, respected chairman, board of trustees, Northern University of Bangladesh Trust, Professor Dr. Abu Yusuf Muhammad Abdullah, guest of honor, founding president of Global Business and Management Forum, and professor of University of Nebraska at Omaha, USA, Professor Ziaul Haq, chair of the ceremony, honorable vice chancellor of Northern University of Bangladesh, and also the conference chair, Professor Dr. Anwar Hussain, Registrar of Northern University of Bangladesh, Commodore Munirul Islam, dignitaries, participants, guests, my and my dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> a very good morning to all of you. It is my great pleasure to speak to you all today at the opening ceremony of this international conference with the theme of business management and social sciences, challenges and ways forward in the post-pandemic era. On behalf of the organizing committee of this conference and Northern University Bangladesh, I express my profound and sincere gratitude to you all for honoring our invitation with your gracious presence and contribution to the conference. Dear colleagues, this theme of conference Business Management and Social Sciences Challenges and Ways Forward in the Post-Pandemic Era is particularly relevant to discuss as the world continues to confront the challenges due to COVID-19 pandemic posed in the context of business management, economics, and social development. In addition to the suffering of those mourning over this, their loved ones, after having lost the battle with COVID-19, after pandemic, we are witnessing severe impact on many aspects of our lives, economy and the society. The areas also seriously impacted by the pandemic, including education, health, investment, productivity, and potential growth, which we need to recover soon. Research scholars, industry experts, and professors from different parts of the world, like USA, China, Malaysia, Turkey, India, Germany, and Bangladesh, are going to take part in this conference on different issues of business management and social sciences. In this conference, 93 papers in total will be presented by the scholars in 18 technical sessions, and will cover the impact of COVID-19 on education, marketing and consumers' behavior, advertising and e-commerce, socioeconomic and environmental studies, fourth industrial revolution and technical efficiency, human resources management in new normal situation, women empowerment, healthcare management, tax audit and non-financial and environmental disclosure, sustainability reporting practices, financial risk management, leadership and trade relationships, green financing, entrepreneurial intention, entrepreneurship and governance, culture and the society, socioeconomic transformation, social structure, psychoanalytical social approach in development, English education and international relationships, social systems and class conflicts, crisis management and economic growth model. I am highly thankful to the research scholars who have made it to the conference and would be presenting their papers on these various themes of business management and social sciences. Papers related to these topics would ultimately enlighten all of us present here on the need for converting present business management practices to overcome the challenges brought forward by the COVID-19 pandemic. I, on behalf of everyone, want to say that we feel extremely proud to be hosting you at this wonderful campus of Northern University Bangladesh. Before we kick start the conference, I would like to express my gratitude towards you all who sincerely contributed to this conference 
in order to make it a success. This wouldn't have been possible without the support of each and everyone present here. I strongly feel that acting collaboratively, collaboratively, collectively is the need of the hour and uniting ourselves for a common cause can work wonders to overcome the challenges we are facing now. It is my most sincere hope that owing to our relentless endeavors, this conference will help take strong resolutions on how they can move closer towards the attainment of effective policies that would help us to face the post-pandemic challenges in business management. With this, I would like to thank you all once again for being here. I look forward to hearing your discussions and learning from your insights. Thank you all. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable words. Now I'd like to call up on stage the guest of honor, Professor Dr. Ziao Hock, founding president of GBMF, and Professor, College of Business Administration, University of Nebraska, to deliver his valuable speech. Honorable Minister of Industries, uh, Nurul Majid Mohammed Humayun, uh, the Chair of the NU Board of Trustees, Dr. Abu Yusuf Abdullah, uh, Vice Chancellor of uh, Northern University, uh, Dr. Anwar, Anwar Hussain, my fellow academicians, and my dear students. It's my privilege to welcome you on behalf of GBMF, Global Business and Management Forum. And first of all, I'd like to thank from the bottom of my heart the administration of Northern University for hosting this conference. And it's a wonderful thing because conferences are the avenues through which new ideas get disseminated. When you look at research, published research, you know, that research may be already dated because it took two, three years to get published. But new ideas are presented in such conferences. And that's how I decided my own research agenda. In 1982, I went to a conference, you know, and I heard about a new system, and that decided the, you know, the future of my research. The new realities of the global marketplace requires a bold approach to disseminate business intelligence, research methods, research findings, and best of breed practices. For the benefit of, benefit of academicians, for practitioners, government leaders, and policy makers. Today we don't have a domestic market. We are part of the global market because any product made, made anywhere is actually a global composite of raw materials, supplies of all kinds, labor, business intelligence, procured from many parts of the world. And in this global marketplace, the competition is stiff. Companies must keep on improving their productivity. And productivity, when productivity improves in a country, then that country can provide a better standard of living for its people. Everyone benefits from that. And what is productivity? You have to improve your cost performance. You have to improve your quality performance. You have to improve your delivery performance. You have to improve speed at which you introduce new products and services. And this is very important. When new products emerge in the marketplace, they, for, for some time, they remain as, you know, custom products. But over time, that custom products become a commodity product. 
And when it has become a commodity product, that means the technology has disseminated and others can get in, in, into that market. And the basis of competition becomes price at that point. And so if you can offer a product at a cheaper cost, if you can offer quality at a cheaper cost, then you'll be successful. And Bangladesh has an advantage because the labor is cheap here. And we can offer those things to the world business community. Most American, European, you know, producers are not producing anything today. Most of the companies that used to call themselves manufacturing companies, they have become marketing companies. They're utilizing, you know, developing countries like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, even China to procure goods and services from them. As a matter of fact, in, in, in America, a company spends almost 60% of its cost of goods sold on procurement. So there's a huge market out there. Okay? So we have to focus on productivity, and we have an advantage here that can take us you know, to, the, to our goals, actually. So the competition is actually very, very cutthroat. And it, it means building a niche or building distinctive competency. That means you have something that others cannot offer. And we 